Okay, always, in this video, I want to walk you video, through how we like reset the parameters for the PowerFlex 525 using the TII Technical Education Systems ACD 525 VFD trainer. So to do this, it's pretty basic. This will reset the PowerFlex back to the factory settings. So as if you just pulled it right out of the box. You would do this if the VFD had been sitting on a shelf for a while and you don't know if any parameters had been programmed into it, or if the PowerFlex had glitched out and you wanted to try a factory reset before decommissioning it. So let me show you how you do this. So you're gonna hit the select button and then you're gonna notice that something's going to blink here. And if you wait too long, it will run you through what program parameter it's in right now. So I'm gonna hit select. And then this is blinking. So I'm gonna go up to P, which is your basic programs. I'm gonna hit select. Then I'm gonna come up to P53. I'm gonna hit enter. Then I'm gonna to go to parameter two. Now there's a couple of different parameters in here and you'll need to use the manual to figure out what each one does. But here's a little picture of the different parameters you can put in here, but we're gonna to go to two which is the factory reset. And I'm gonna hit select and then enter. And this will go to F48 and the fault light will come on. This lets you know that you have set this to the factory reset. And then what you need to do is power down the VFD. Now the TII trainer gives you a switch on the side, which makes that very easy to do. The VFD will power down typically about three to five seconds. Once it's powered down completely, you can power it back up. It will run through its uh, boot up protocol. It will let you, it'll give you a little bit of information about the actual VFD that you have every time you turn it on, letting you know all the different parameters that this is built on. And then once that's done, you have now reset the VFD back to the factory parameters. As always, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button.